We're here at the very first day of the International Polar Year Polar Educators Workshop, uh, which is part of the International Polar Year Conference in Montreal. Uh, we have 170 participants from 15 countries and five continents, mostly teachers, but we have uh, educators from different backgrounds, scientists, elders, experts, artists, uh, it's quite an amazing group of people. This sea level is already affected because yeah. ice is already floating in it and causing it to rise up some. Mm -hmm. so We've got a two-day program of workshops, presentations, hands-on activities. Um, and uh, what's going to be uh, born from these two days is really exciting. If you cannot play a card, you have to draw another one. Okay, pick it and stick it. But I really think it's time to invest in younger students, in, in the lower grades, seven and eight year olds. If we can change attitudes when they're younger, then they're more kinder and more understanding when they get older and will go farther than restarting the clock on learning. The most important thing is that uh, when you get a bunch of uh, scientists together, like in the International Polar Year, uh, the scientists are talking to the scientists and the real uh, issue or the real problem is trying to get science to the students and to the public and this is the thing that we, we, we really uh, have a shortfall in and so inviting educators to come to the meeting and to have a separate uh, mini conference in, in advance to actually work with uh, directly with the uh, communicators and the educators is really something that, that scientists in general need to do. We're in a system that we don't understand our best models, our best predictions, our best forecasts What's happening in the Arctic has an influence everywhere on the planet and a lot of the knowledge that we've gained in the last couple of years shows us that clearly. So I'm interested in bridging uh, what seems to be two worlds but is really one world. I'm a marine biologist and I try to understand how animals are able to adapt to climate change. Um, ice formations and understanding everything that's there. And Polar education means different things to different people. It's a really emerging field. It uh, is about conservation, science, culture, history, environmental issues, policy. And it has to be why, it has to be why does it affect you where you live. And, and I think working with the educators, we can take that broader message. It's not just about sea ice or polar bears, it's about you know, long-term changes in our behavior. And, and, and that message, which is a longer-term, tougher message, uh, it requires the science community and the education community to work together. What's going to be uh, born from these two days is really exciting. Um, knowledge to action is the theme, and the action, who knows, it's going to be uh, tools that these teachers can take back to their classes and use right away with their students. It's going to be um, new networks, new programs and projects that will, will, be, uh, will be inspired and, and born for the future.